Good morning, grasshoppers. I just got a report that I was dropping frames. I don't necessarily know that this is true, but I'm going to check it out. Good morning, grasshoppers. I just got a report that I was dropping. Check this. It looks pretty good. If I get a second report, that'll be something else. Totally something else. Alright, we're off and running. E4. Excellent China Goat. I appreciate the time. That's a gambit of time. Fair enough. Bishop pair for no reason? I'm a stay. <laughs> the bishop pair for no reason. Interesting. And Yeah, 
Scandinavian. Just another terrible opening for. <clears throat> Just another terrible opening for. Beginners, do not play the Scandinavian. First, learn to hold the center. Or, true uh, Scandinavian is knight to f6. The center counter is what I understand to be d5. Giving away your center, giving white a big center. <clears throat> China goat. So let's see, knight f6 and queen takes d5 have the same percentage of wins for black. Let's check out against the average player. That's what we're looking for. I mean, c6 is actually quite a good alternative. Let's see if we can turn down the music just a smidge. What? Why is it so loud? There we go. Much better. <clears throat> is what I grew up with. This is the original, the original center counter response where we try to hold the center, pin the knight and put pressure on the knight. And then we have to play C6 and get our queen back to safety later this way. <coughs> After all, D4, knight F6 and bishop D2 seem to be very good for the average user, but at the master level, forget about it. C6. Preventing any funny business involving doubling of pawns. But after queen to d8, I admit it. <clears throat> I did try to bait my opponent a little bit here into bishop g4 ideas. And now the moment of truth, bishop to g4, never played by masters, runs into bishop takes f7 and knight to e5 check. Thank you very much. <clears throat> so, now we're trapped in Fisher's mind. What are we going to do here? E4, take over the center. And ironically, no master would give up his bishop pair this early in the game. When you put a bishop out here, it is to exchange off the knight. So therefore, bishop e7, the quiet bishop e7, I can understand c6 or a6 in order to fight back towards the center. The idea of b5, getting time on the bishop and bishop to b7. Mm -hmm. And both c6 and a6 have the best percentages for black in an ideal world. So meanwhile, whoops, whoops, I'm so sorry. Nobody in the chat gave me a heads up that the round had started. Grr. Uh oh. Because I lost my last Swiss game. November 23rd. Well, that seems to be incorrect. However, they do a very strict, very strict requirements. And I'm wondering if they are letting me back in. Can't just blow off a Swiss event. I missed my last Swiss game. I apologize, Lee Chess. Swiss events open for entry 30 minutes, 5 to 30 minutes before they start. Yes, indeed.
Let's see if I get paired next round. That's the real question. And how are my drop frames? So I haven't dropped frames in about seven minutes. I'm hoping that I fixed the issue. I'm going to close everything that is unrelated. Unrelated to the stream. How about that? Looks like I've done as much as I can. The new version of Chess Space is coming out at 5 o'clock Central European time today. Is that true? Put your makeup on, get your nails done, curl your hair, run the extra mile, keep it slim, so they like you. Could it be that site? Do they like you? I apologize, fifteen hundred Central European time. I am gonna be ordering it straight away. miss our next uh, Swiss game by accident. God help me. I'm so sorry, Titan Gladiator. Good evening. Good morning. Good evening. I'm not sure what that time re refers to either. Let's Google search that one. We'll see, how's Chess Alpha doing versus Nico? I am hoping MD Knight shows up this morning briefly as we receive some gifts from MD Knight. Additions to the dojo, three books. Can you imagine that? Three books from the Amazon wish list have appeared, all concerning Bobby Fischer. All of them seem to have amazing games. At first, I did not think that the uh, the Cuban connection had any games in it, but I am actually interested in the story of long distance chess as uh, we were not allowed to travel to Cuba. But there is quite a bit of great reading involved in um, 10 years of Close Encounters, Fisher and Cuba. I can't imagine coming up with more than one volume of Fisher and Cuba. This travels, games, and adventures in the land of Capablanca. It seems to be a self-published book. I'm fascinated by the... Uh, by the formatting of the book. I'm actually thinking about pursuing this myself and just pushing out my content. It has a forward by Andrew Soltis. It's even more amazing. Miguel Sanchez and Jesus Suarez. Dave Myers. Daniel Myers. Norman T. Whitaker versus Capablanca. 
I didn't realize that Dan Myers was uh, actually Cuban. Got a, few, a Ford by Lanier Dominguez as well. Cuban Grandmaster Lanier Dominguez. There are 46 games in this book. a bit about the authors because I do want to know more about them. Let's not miss another game. That might have been the first Swiss game I've missed in weeks, perhaps. Alright, and we're off. It's all pro. Gonna follow it up like Bobby Fisher here. All right, now the moment of truth. Because my opponent has prematurely played Bishop to D7. What is the threat? Let's reinforce our d4 square so that we don't have to give up this big center. Uh-oh. That's craziness, folks. All right, we're going to just get ahead in development. I don't necessarily know that I can improve on the, on the advantages of this position with the weak and white squares any better than that. Can we encourage him to, uh, oh no, do not capture pawns in front of your king, castled or otherwise. Let's dive into those weaknesses. Uh-oh. Starting to look a little sketchy. More to come. Do I dare? Where's that knight going? Pro, you're moving too fast. You have to think, sir. It will help if you think. It's the end of the road, I'm afraid. Don't move so fast. Tall Pro, how can I help? What have we studied? What are we looking at? What are our small goals? It is great to have you in the tournament. Where are you from? Good morning, Nico. How are you, Mon? So we're thinking about going back to the old format, Nico. You are one of the people I wanted to consult. The old format was arenas for a fixed amount of time. The benefit to arenas for a fixed amount of time are, number one, that we can always accept people into the arena at any stage. So even if someone shows up late and can only play one game, I don't have to do any finagling. The other benefit to the arena is that I don't have to set an opening code 
like I do for the Swisses because no one can get in. Right? Nico's in the middle of a game, so I don't entirely expect him to answer me. And it looks like we have lost a rook, so I'm terribly sorry. Titan Gladiator. I set Titan Gladiator up for the fall as he's about to get pillaged for all of his pawns. Now, I think I would have pillaged the pawns. Check, 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 and possibly check some more. There are no saving those. <laughs> Indeed, you are processing him up a rook. <clears throat> so let me continue listening while he's just listening. Um, the drawbacks, of course, are also there. Players are forced to rush a bit. Players uh, tend to take each game for granted. They resign early without sticking with it because the game is a single game is of less importance. So it's a tough call for me as a coach because I don't necessarily want anyone to take any game as less significant than another. So personally, the Swiss seems to be better. Titan Gladiator will to the point that I gave him over to Nico. And my uh, penalization went away. I did save in a Google search. I saved the entire penalization. <clears throat> I mean, those are the obvious ones, right? And the tricky part is convenience over... All right. I mean, ironically, certainly the Swiss is a little bit more work for me to set up and to maintain. And Mark Arnold, when I talked to him on Saturday, when I mentioned the nine round Swiss, you know, and then I suggested the arena so that people could enter at any time just in case he was not able to wake up, which he wasn't. Oh, it does give some room to watch the stream. That is huge. And it also gives me room to comment on the other games rather than just playing nonstop. You're absolutely right. That one is also huge. That one is also huge. Now, I'm not so sure about this song. Voting that one down. <laughs> yep. I want to help China Goat and Shaw Pro. Shaw Pro. Chess All Pro. But how to help them fastest. He hasn't played a game yet. And China Goat is up in material here. I'm very happy to see him doing well. Uh-oh. Wait. You don't need to play that move anymore, although it's there for you. You could have played G5 when the king retreated. And now things are a little bit frozen. This force is a king move. So for, in turn, force is another king move. Uh-oh. Walked into a pawn mate. Nicely done, everybody. Kasparov Noir. Mm-hmm. So if I have an arena and 
people just want to have the stream on in the background. It's not such a bad idea. I'm going to start off Nico with A5. I've not yet done my complete and thorough study of 1B4. And I should actually approach this as how the world, what would a world champion do? W, 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 C, D. Wait a minute now. We can take that at any time. I believe. Wait, you're giving up the bishop pair, sir. And I have the better pawn structure. Where are you headed? What does it all mean? For lack of any better, a square to go to. Before I get too careless here, I almost lost a pawn. I thought I had a greater threat, but I was wrong. This nation owes you a huge debt. Talski. By the way, Potato Head LOL was our 1900th follower. Talski, welcome as the 1901. We've actually entered the 20th century as far as our follows go. Can I continue with this? Uh oh. This does look a little serious on my uh, on my uh, D five square, doesn't it? But now it's all good, babe. Roll that backward fade and play me close. Cause girls like you run well with girls like me. The sun now when I come through, I need a girl like you. Yeah, yeah, girls like you look funny, yeah. Me too, and I want when I come through, I need a girl like you. Interesting. <laughs> I got a little ambitious here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't want an isolated bond. What is hanging and what is not hanging? 96 check. Let's say D takes C4. He might have me here. 
I love my bishop pair. How much is it worth to me? Alright. I'm going to keep the bishop pair to the best of my ability. Even if it means having an isolated pawn. Okay. I'm not so sure about this one. Oh, I can't move it. <laughs> now we are no longer pinned. Or are we? Oops. Oh, I lucked out. I really did luck out. Because he had rook takes d8 check winning the night. Yes, yes. Can I allow this to happen? That's a bummer. No, I cannot. Oh no! <laughs> Pardon me, Nico. What is Swiss chess? Swiss is a pairing system where you play each player only once. You are paired by score. And. <laughs> where are you from, Talski? I'm going to remove this one at some point as well. Ritter, it's your turn. Oh, that is beautiful. What a beautiful country. Architecture, everything. Fresh air. Not quite um, as well known as it should be. Swiss chess, yes. But I'm pump. A Swiss system, let me just see if I can bring it up. Uh, well, I don't know that I... I don't know anywhere where the politics is good at the moment. It seems like we're falling down a huge, huge rabbit hole. What time is it in Australia? Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. One thing that I've noticed, uh, if I knew that there were an ad coming, I would put up some absolutely essential content that should not be missed, such as setting your goals and keeping them in mind, absolutely keeping them in mind regardless of uh, <coughs> Pegasus. Ron! Good morning, sir. Namaste, Ron. Drunk chess. Which is on the 50th anniversary, yeah, uh, of the Bolshevik Revolution, which was October. Hold on here. I believe it was 1917. So it had to be 1967. 
I'm drawing a blank on the exact day. The October Revolution took place in 1917, I believe. <laughs> that is a great Swiss story. The Swiss system. Oh, Ritter, where are you, sir? Twenty fifth of October, was it really? For some reason I thought it was the twenty ninth of October. I remember at one time I thought it was October 17th, not realizing I was confusing 1917 with the date. I guess it's not that important the exact day, given that you know that it's the October Revolution, when the Bolsheviks, uh, let's just say, wow, Ritter, you got it just in time. I don't even know what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna play very natural, normal chess for you, sir. You know, I haven't actually decided on what I'm going to be doing with this uh, particular... <laughs> I still believe in Bishop C5 against people that are lower rated than me. And there's one trap in here with E5 slash Bishop to C4 that I always liked. Do we go for the Poison Pawn variation? I don't think so. Should we invite him in? I think this move is more effective against... That move is more effective against... Well, isn't that interesting? You and you, and that's the only way. All right, I'm curious if I have an option here. I'm getting the bishop pair, but what good discoveries do we really have? Uh-huh. Let me just go back in time. Let me see wh what this was all about. We actually approached it very theoretically. So queen f6, all well and good. Knight to b5, not thought of to be very good. Queen to g6 straight away. I remember this uh, being played against Judith Bulgar. Yeah, among masters, I believe queen to g6 is better pressure against this pawn. And on queen to f3, then we play knight e5, and we, we just let him enjoy this position to the fullest. You gads, folks. Are we worried about this? Do we have to play a6? Romanesian, Romanesian, Romanesian. The Romanesian continuation. But that is a great uh, story. Drunk Chess. And I believe it was uh, Drunken Chess who followed me on social media when we had our last discussion, by the way. SCC Savas, good morning. We're going to make it to the Russian Revolution yet, as he is number 1902. So what time is it, Central European time right now, Nico? I am okay, mate. I'm very okay. All 
Our last game of the day. I lost to Nico. Heartwarming donation to one of my favorite chatters. My favorite dojo. Let's play the Ponzi Annie. I've been looking at the Ponzi Annie a lot lately, and that's probably one of the worst moves to play against the Ponzi Annie. So let's see where the night is going. That was not a good move on my part. Well, I somehow got away with it. That's craziness. That was absolute bitter, utter craziness that I got away with that move. Where is this night going? Whoops. Wait just a moment now. And now for something completely different. Where's that night going? I always have this funny feeling like that night has some greater purpose in life. But I don't see it. Am I getting carried away? We're having a lot of fun though. That much is true. Oh no, did I really do that? And I'm losing more material out of it? That's craziness, what a blunder. Do not move a piss away when you're attacked. Rule number one. Do not move a piece away when you are attacked. I just want to capture more stuff, how about that? Slowly but surely. Capturing more stuff 
is key, even if it means being down in exchange, two exchanges. What a night, ladies and gentlemen, what a night. Can I be down an entire pizza? I forgot that I needed to go a little bit further. Bishop to e2. Wow. Was I doing that well in this game? Let's take a quick peek. The knight on g to e7. e5, knight to b8. It's possible that I needed to push uh, E5 as well. Let's take a quick peek here. That is great progress. I'm sorry I didn't get right back to you five minutes ago there, Tuck. Tall. Um, at the early stages, you can gain hand over fist. In fact, I would say that a gain of uh, 500 points to 1,000 points depending on how low you started for the first year is not bad. So for example, if you started around 392, you know, shortly you'll be, a, you'll have gained a thousand rating points. So in this particular position, would knight to g5 have been a better move? Nah. Where is my analysis board? None of these moves are mistakes. Oh, it's a little bit slow on the on the calculations. But it is analyzing it from the back forward. So yes. I'm doing very well here. Bishop to c4 wasn't necessary. Bishop to b5 would have been more to the point. I believe it. I also like the idea of knight to uh, b5 and knight to d4, but I didn't want to hang my paw. That's why I played this move. Knight to c5. b4 occurred to me straight away. Not entirely necessary. b3 followed by knight a, by a4, probably also very good. To lock down on these squares. So what are you studying to improve? Agent server, how are you? I did not hear that announcement. I did not hear that one. So let me make sure you get another less. I'm trying to think of his name in Tropic Thunder. Les Grossman. Les Grossman. I did not know that that was Tom Cruise when I first saw the movie. I should have recognized it by the voice. 
Central, you're two hours ahead of uh, Central European time because you're in Turkey. So right now, if it's 11.53 and noon is 6 p.m., 6 a.m. for me, at 9 a.m. I should be able Hold on, let me just check the uh, this, the new edition of Chessbase 17 and Megabase 2023 will be released at 1500 CEST which means at 9 a.m. my time. Correct me if I'm wrong. So 1500 Central European time would be 9 a.m. my time. So what are you doing, Talski? Tals. Did we give Ron his shout out? Ron probably just stopped in while he was at work. What do you mean, what am I doing? Are you working on your game to become better in any particular way is what I mean. What are you doing? What do you mean, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? No one defeats Nico to me. Yes. <laughs> I don't even want to look at our record, sir. Who is playing right now in the World Cup? I've lost track of day three. I was watching the U.S. a bit yesterday. Let it C to B5, look on A to C8. And I should have gone for the trapping of the night. So silly of me. My God, how can I miss that? That's absolutely horrible. I guess I was so preoccupied with trying to get my knight on that square. And Bishop E2 is somewhat forced. I always have protection at the end because of the fork. So it's not that bad. Trying to get rid of my knight. How rude. This advantage of Triple pawns is pretty hard to take advantage of. Not already. So meanwhile, bishop to b3. Yes, they've dimmed the lights on me on purpose. And I went from being plus three to minus three in one move. So what does it recommend? Rook to b1. Of course. Queen to c3 is probably also possible to try to recover. Nope. Rook a1. Rook b1. Rook e2, just offering this one. That's also a very good possibility. Why didn't I think of that? Can I survive this?
I'm desperate in this position. So E5, did I have anything going for me? Rook F1? Pasito. Rook to B1 to avoid any further embarrassment. I tried Queen E2, Knight takes F4, Queen takes B2. And I just lose. Yuck. Congratulations, Nico. Totally awesome, Mom. <laughs> you need a new iPhone? <laughs> what about a Samsung Galaxy tablet dedicated to chess and or reading chess books on forward chess and other chess apps? I'm doing chessable, sir. And she hasn't checked in in a couple of days. If you are new to the stream, I am V Day Trainer and National Master John MacArthur. I've been teaching chess for close to 40 years. That's right, soon it will be. I will have been teaching chess since before I was born. Absolutely, you can always do that. Before we go, it is not even 6.05. 6.05 is is five minutes past is usually the time when I actually have to check the schedules and everything and make sure that either I need to catch the 615 or the 625 train. So where are we, Nico and Ron? I love being able to see other people's cross tables too. 16 in a row. All right, let's turn off the engine so we can try to enjoy it just a little bit and hide the comments here. Ron, of course, is a little bit of a cowboy in the sense that he really flings those pieces out to try to, try to uh, encourage, I would probably play knight to d5. I don't like walking into pins. d4. Still with knight e5, anchoring the knight, waiting for knight f6. And now that he's offering me this option, I might have gone uh, full throttle in the other direction with c4, Nico. This move appeals to me more to find a more active spot for this piece. With the idea of perhaps even bishop takes knight takes knight e5 to take that bishop on uh, on f on h5. Followed by g4, f4, etc. That's what appeals to me. You've probably seen me do this in countless numbers of games. So needless to say, bishop e2 just sort of breaks the pin. But I don't necessarily know that this is the most ambitious move for our, our bishop while we can actually just bust out and start tackling the center and his overworked uh, pieces to a certain extent. We do have to worry about this later. The other great benefit to this move is that if he plays uh, e6, I might even go for this one. And then just start putting more pressure on the on this stuff with the threat of g5. Now, of course, this is a little bit of a problem. But is he going to give up the bishop pair? It's you, darling. It's you. Every time I close my eyes, it's you. It's you. You that I dream of, you that I... So yeah, it's a little bit of a problematic move. You missed the tournament, Lauren. You have to get your calendar imported. I believe the notifications can be set by you. You have to import that URL into your calendar. Well, 
Yeah, I don't like it. So, rather than playing g4, is black going to give up the bishop pair here and have no safe area for his king? Meanwhile, white's king is quite safe here. Nico won the tournament. He climbed over my very slow moving dead body. <laughs> he did. He climbed over me very well. I thought I was doing well, and then I wasn't. It's like the plan. I think Anish Giri says, sometimes I calculate well, and sometimes I don't. Sometimes a plan works out, and then sometimes it doesn't. So, Bishop E2 was played. Let's see what the analysis is on those things that I was looking at. G4, C4. It does like your G4 idea, but you played your G4 idea a little late. And B5, I had not thought about B5. <laughs> My first not lost game against Ron. That is true. Namaste for the uh, hydrate, Lauren, and Pegasus for the encore applause. Ten bits. What would be a good companion opening to the Queen's Indian, Nimzo Indian? Against one E4. I mean, honestly, it does not work out as well. The Queen's Indian, Nimzo Indian, trying to break down the center with uh, peace with uh, peace play, but you'd have to go with the modern. I mean, that's the only thing you've got, but it's like you can't play B6. Okay, Tull's got back to us. Puzzles, play games, and I have a couple of books that I'm reading. Excellent. Well, the first player for a positional sense of getting through games is to study the games of a world champion through and through. For example, someone asked me uh, about 1e4. They want to play 1e4, and then they added, thanks to the Amazon wish list, several books to the Fisher Library. And I'm very thankful for that. I'm going to try to do a little special presentation tomorrow on MD Knight added uh, Xenon Franco's Bobby Fisher Explained and some other stories. He added Fisher in Cuba, Volume 1. I'm always hesitant about volume of Volume 1 when I don't know that the second volume. And the most important book of the three to me, although this one has some amazing stories in it by Xenon Franco, uh, the Unstoppable American, Fisher's Road to Reykjavik. Um, there's nothing more exhilarating than Fisher's Road to the World Championship. All right, you got it. You got this, Lauren. Just play well and the result takes care of itself. In general, I would study Capablanca's best games. I love the Move by Move series, by the way. I think Hit or Miss, the Move by Move series with Lakdawalla by Everyman is very, very good. Of course, I'm a big fan of the Chess Informant system, but I don't necessarily know that it's for absolute beginners. There are lovely articles in the Chess Informant, and there are a lot of uh, there are a lot of stuff, but it's mainly geared just above beginner toward intermediate. And the American Chess Magazine is also one of those primary things. So let's see this game in its integrity. So here, one more time. It's unfortunate that we can't play C4 and that we've missed the boat on C4 a little bit. Or have we? 
C4 is still among the top five and has now become the first most important move. <coughs> Try not to give up the center. Nico has a tendency to not block in his bishop d4 and use this outpost square, which I think he needs to do a little bit more often. So here we are, bishop to g6, queen to b8. Now we have f4 coming. Now you're going to play c4? Wait just a moment here. Now you're going to play c4. Okay, but black seems to be a little bit better. Yeah. What is Ron doing? We need to migrate everything over toward the queen side. The pawn structure is indicating a queen side attack. Queen to b8, queen to b6. And now rook to c1. Queen side attack stymied. Giving away our center. Better pawn structure for white with one pawn island. Everyone should know that I'm going to say that. Two hanging pawns to play against. <laughs> I'm afraid it's hand grenades and horseshoes. Those are the games where close counts. Hand grenades and horseshoes. Finally, we've completed our development on move number 17. I'm a little worried that this was a little delayed, but he's got more where that came from. What in the world are you trying to do to us? Ron. And he might even be allowing it. Oh, no. This is extremely dangerous. You need to start placing your rucks. Give yourself the opportunity to play knight f1. So I think that you should be playing over the games of World Champions. I love doing the puzzles. So far, everything that you're doing is good. Everything that you're doing is quite good. Um, but you should add a World Champion to... It's like when you were young, your parents read to you stories or they read stories to you in school to understand grammar and structure and content and improving your fluency in language skills to be able to speak form arguments uh form sentences have several sentences forming a paragraph basically by reading to learn the grammar and structure and syntax and improve your vocabulary of uh of speaking in a language whatever language you're learning and in chess when you go over the games of great players for example I don't recommend Fisher because his openings is black. Could be limiting for you. That's why Capablanca played both e4 and d4, and you can still choose for yourself. Capablanca move by move. The move by move series is quite good. Let's see, I have the book Cap. Where is Capablanca's move? Oh, it's too far away for me to reach. Do I have one handy? There, there's a move by move series on all the great players. In this particular example, we have Nepomniachi move by move. Nepomniachi, Nepomnishi, I should say, is a candidate for the current world championship. And they're sort of hedging their bet because they haven't come out with a jingler in his opponent. Right? Isn't there something wrong with that? They haven't come out with a dingler in move by move. You had an overworked piece. Yeah, but then you get your vocabulary down, like the stuff that, uh, that you may already be familiar with, as you've been watching a lot of streams. Yeah, the breaking down of the pawn structure and the threat of the fork. This is very serious. This was not a move. Queen F4. So Ron has to... How much time did Ron spend on that move? 136. Let's spend a good 15 minutes. This was not a threat. My, my uh, sense that Philidor once said... I prefer that you don't have the engine turned on the first time through the game. Yeah, you won't look at the continuity of the game. 
So basically, in our Discord under WC Studies or Great Player Games and Studies, we already have started it. Where we have, hold on, pardon everybody as I, as I head out just for a moment over here. So we have all the world champions, number 10, all of this basically, and I have drawn these games from a variety of books just to form them. Uh, do we have two Magnus Carlson? Did I see that correctly? No, I think I just read it twice. The Origins versus the Bobby Fischer study. Uh, I'm a little worried about that one. Last good cop of walk of the entire world championship match. I have to find out why that other WC comes in. But in any event, where's Capablanca? There he is, number three, Jose Capablanca. I will come right back, I promise. So yeah, we've already got about 17 of Capablanca's games in there. You can play over. What I do suggest is that you create a study of your own, title the study, look at it from the right perspective, Use a touch screen if you have to, or play out the moves over the board. There's no substitute for playing out the moves over the board. Going back in time to uh, this game. It's looking a little sketchy. And now we get to take over. Where is that knight going? Good question, right? There's an inherent pin straight through as long as we get to capture this knight. The bishop takes f6. So you took right away, and this simplifies everything, unfortunately. Is this a threat? Is it? Do we look at the uh, the trappage? The trappage? Not trappage. I was pretty sure we had really decent trappage here. But I'm wrong. I might have gone for that. So H4 is very reasonable. Wow. And now Nico is winning. What? Did we have a better move? Yeah, I guess so. Just tagging the rock and shoving in the pawn. Fine, so takes, takes. A5, no. We need to start shoving our pawn. Forces rook into passivity. In some form or another. Then we can pin. So you chose this one first. So we didn't see what? What did we not see in this position? Can we just get straight to the seventh rank? I like the idea of this move. I just don't like its execution. Maybe rook a5. It's unfortunate that we're losing the A5 pawn. He gets, folks. Pawn is promoting. Or 
is it? We're up a piece. Oh no, we're up a piece. Oh no. Yeah, Rook A3? I don't understand the difference between these two. So now you're just winning, Nico. Again, you're winning. Help! You just need a king, that's all. And now you have a king. Totally winning, by the way. Because you don't have to give up the material. Mm-hmm. Oh no, Rook F6, you gotta keep pressuring more. Oh my gosh. You guys must have been in massive time trouble. No, nobody's in time trouble. You have 13 seconds. No time trouble here. I would have played knight g4 check to keep him uh, and then cross and cover our king so that we can push this pawn. Yeah. Oh, actually, the computer recommends that, that same plan. Are we almost made it here? It looks like it, doesn't it? No, what are you doing? Rook takes e5 check, yes. That would have been uh, very kosher. And then no mating material. What a game, Nico. I think you just have to know. Thank you, Tal. I don't have it open at the moment. I apologize, but I had to drop some frames earlier, so I closed everything that I didn't need to keep open. Other than the music, of course. Thank you for joining the Discord. Shock, what a great name. So yeah, it's under the WC study links. We have quite a few study links there. I'm gonna make sure that this one comes up to the right one. The WC. Good. There was a study that looked like it popped up in that. It was not for public consumption, but it's a private study, so it doesn't matter. I see it, but others don't. I hope everybody sees the studies that are in there. No, no, no. No place I'd rather be. All right. Namaste, everyone. Oh, 622. I must run. Meanwhile. Where are we headed from here? What lovely person should we visit, dominate, distract, bother, where we might get the most credit? What is up with Jesse February? Did she just start streaming? Is she even? <laughs> Pegasus for 10 bits. Thank you so much. That's all right, Lauren. It is great to have you. Ron. Beast mode, Ron. Thank you for everyone to be here. We're up to 1903. Thanks to Agent Server. Namaste, tall, and any event. We will be back. Please load your calendar. Join all the dojos. I'm gonna fill out the birthdays, uh, the events. I'm, I'm glad to hear 
that Swiss's should still be the order of the day. And uh, you're right, the stream is is the priority. So we, uh, we're having arenas on the weekends for two hours, and I will take out the uh, I will take the breaks on the weekends in the arenas in order to keep the stream going for the most part. So Dojo and my socials. Please subscribe to the YouTube channel for anything else. I definitely have a very slow speaking demeanor, which I didn't recognize how slow it is when I'm very deliberate and purposeful and what I want to say. I uh, think I want it to be understood by all languages. Maybe that's what I'm worried about. Who knows? And she has a sub battle. If I don't have anything on my cards, Let me just take a quick peek to make sure she is the best candidate for the job. Let's do it. We'll roll the ending credits for everyone. We're going to finish on Marina Saito. Thank you so much, Tom. I'm trying my best to help everyone become a better player. Diligent daily training, whatever it takes. Don't play games so quickly that you practice the bad habit of moving without thinking. If you are moving the pieces, there's a good chance that you are not playing chess. That is always awkward. If you're thinking, then you're always playing chess. But if you're moving the pieces, there's no guarantee. Cheers and shower, everyone. Have a great day. I always move without thinking. That is part of the thing. You actually, and then rage. Exactly. You may not see me rage outwardly. I have definitely been perturbed to the extent that I'm steaming on the inside, but I do not rage outwardly. Cheers, everyone. Have a great day. Ciao.